Hello everyone, ARG back with some more King's Blood today. Um, we're gonna play some more. I understand there's been some updates since the last time I played. Uh, it's been a minute since I played this game, so well, let's get to it. Interesting. So they made a made a trap. Sounds like um, maybe a secret army. Maybe a secret army of undead. Maybe. I guess we'll see. I have enough influence to unlock two cities. Wow. Okay. And then there's an invasion. Uh, the sort of turn forty-three. Oh. Oh, it's now. Oh, we start with an invasion. Alright, uh, what city should I get? Let's go ahead and get Gorgul down here. Gorgul's proximity to the barrier casts a pall over a discursed place, despite common belief. The barrier does not have a sharp, precise border. In reality, it is more of an invisible, nebulous cloud where demonic energies hang in the air like wisps of smoke that grow stronger the further one ventures into the cursed lands. Gorgul was built close enough to the demonic realm that its air is polluted with demonic energy, yet is still thought to be under the barrier's protection. Its Askin inhabitants are as sinister and mysterious as Gorgul itself. Rumors swirl that the Askins worship the demon race in secret, that they believe demons should rule once more as superior beings. A graver still, some claim that they are studying the summoning magic required to bring back the demons in order to return to the good old days. Good old days of demons. Like... Do, don't we all miss those good old days? Alright, let's go ahead and unlock Gorgol. Alright, and where else? Let's get Nijandria, and then we're kind of gonna have like everything on the southwest here. Nijandria is an ancient city founded long before the early war. At its center, an enormous pyramid towers over thousands of humble houses that are connected by dirty and narrow passages, the city embraced by the dying sun. Nigendria's isolated location protects them from conflicts with the religious fanatics in Taurus. The Askan people of Nigendria devote their lives to researching the aging ruins engraved on the bright sandstone of the central pyramid. This may make them... This may make them the only ones in the kingdom who truly understand the historical events prior to the early war. Many outsiders are terrified that their closeness to the barrier and their devotion to collecting this old wisdom is a sign that they are working to bring back the old days back when demons reign supreme again. Trying to bring back the good old days of, you know, demons running rampant. Can't trust them people from the south, obviously. Alright. Uh, let's see. Alright, so the invasion's coming. Find the right moment to start. I don't know what that means. Well, 
I'm on turn 43, so I kind of have to wait because I'm gonna get attacked. So I can't send anybody nowhere. Oh, I can research. Yeah, I'm gonna end turn because. Whoa, there's fire over there. Did I not get attacked, or did I end with the... I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, they're not there on turn 43. Can I... Oh, I, do I not have this? I guess not. Alright, we work our way back up. So we're gonna get Gararak. Perry Hother, a famous Samson poet, once penned the saying, Orcs are orcs. He felt that no matter how much one tries to change them, orcs will always be feral beasts. However, the city of Gar Arak is where the statement born from prejudice loses much of its credibility. Gar Arak is a city divided between various clans that fight amongst themselves for leadership, solely based on the law of the strongest, with the wolf clan as the current holder of that title. That being said, they have proven time and time again that they can cooperate with each other in a civilized manner in times of struggle. Unfortunately, this solidarity ends at the city border. The rest of Aratka, the land of the orcs, is a barbaric cesspool of wickedness and anarchy save for one or two dim lights within the darkness. The lack of kinship between the clans is a major source of conflict in Aratka, as well as a serious concern for the wolf clan with some luck. Right, so now I feel like I have, um, I feel like I have failed because I didn't send nobody on quests. Okay, what, why is it on fire over here? So many places I can go. Okay, that guy is water, right? How delusional! Send me your best fighter. I'll teach them a lesson. I'm gonna not do it again. I I want to focus on other things. I don't know why I clicked on it. Oof! So many places to go. So I have 11 different quests, so I'm not going to do just the city quests anymore. I'm going to roll a d12 and see where I'm sending my first group. I rolled a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we're going to do a random quest here. Defeat the pest bringers. Oh, that's easy. That's a bunch of rats. Rats have been spotted at northwest of Evergreen Forest. You look scared, but don't worry. If you beat these beasts, the bards will cherish you as a tree or a hoe. Oh, okay. Alright, All right, who wants to go? You, you, you. You, you. Do I have to send nine? I don't think I have to uh, send nine. I wonder what happens. I wonder if it's like. I wonder if the battles are like made for nine since I can bring nine. Maybe I should bring nine. Some puck, good old puck is gonna go. You and um, you. there you go. 
Oh, I have a Vampiric Sword of Confusion. There you go. I think we're good. There we go. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should have a D ten nearby. There's one. Four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's probably gonna be like three days to go there. Two, two turns. Okay. Ooh, some maggots. It smells like rotten eggs. Oh, somebody farted. We citizens always do our business at the river that crosses Morno River. It always smelled bad, but it got worse. Suddenly, some huge maggots appeared. I don't even want to know what will hatch out of them. I wouldn't dare to touch these things. Could you be our exterminator? I suppose I can. Alright, and for this deed... You wanna go, you wanna go, you wanna go... You, 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 you... You... That's already eight people. Send you. Hopefully that's going to end up giving me some herbs I'm going to need to craft here soon. I'm uh, starting to be out of health potions. I, I should have enough to send on one more quest, so there should be nine left. Four again. One, two, three, and four. Oh god, that's right next door. Silver Fever. Silver, it has always been ourselves who controlled that bus this business. Rumor has it that the dwarves of Boyarn have found a vein and are currently setting up their own mining shafts. And as if our luck could not get any worse, something or someone is trying to sabotage our work. If you want to make some easy money, go to the West Shaft of the black sickle at night and find those who sneak into our mine and destroy our equipment. It would be a bunch of orcs with uh, some wolves. Okay. No, not many want to go. at me with all the, the quests going. Ok, 
can't really get anybody to attack at a position of strength, so when that happens, I just press the play button. randomly pick a blue the spear of the vampire with a Y oh, right. oh that's the rats rats are easy usually is uh, having some problems. I can res him. I think that's a res, right? Yep. Ooh, as person a person steps out of the crowd. Alright. We are getting this person here. A mercenary here, traveling the world and accomplishing heroic deeds. My chance to be But it was a girl. Man. That's what my father said before he kicked me out. So here I am. I guess we have to work together from now on. Ready for some beautiful music. Okay, a supporter. I got some Arcanium, but no herbs. I do have enough herbs to craft. Alright, uh, where can I unlock now? Oh, can start going this way. So we're gonna get Goldstead. Is that what it's called? Goldstead, yeah. Goldstead is second only to Moyarl's rest in terms of size and influence in Arthania. It is governed by Count Ferdinand of Wesla, a man who is not afraid to push boundaries, emboldened by Goldstead's massive wealth, power, and prosperity as the most valuable hub of trade in the kingdom. Wessel has refused to pay half of the crown tax river on for the last few years, just one example of how they now flout the laws that have been established for decades. As the king shows no interest in cracking down on this insubordination, Riverum must endure this disrespect and silence even though it could easily crush Goldstead with its vastly superior military. 
it is now unlocked for us. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make some elf potions. I, I go through the, those pretty quickly. Oh, what's going on here? Auto skill, yeah, removal skill points, okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Is that on fire? All right, construction. Oh, in one turn. Okay, alchemist. Only have one more thing after this to learn. Okay, I don't want that. I don't want that. I just want health potions, really. Increases magic resistance by one. Okay. Um, mm. Alright, so I have uh, I have some. Okay, so now I can send people on quests again. So I have whoa, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's nine quests open. Good old D10. Is it gonna roll something other than a four this time? It rolled a seven. Okay, that's gonna be an ear. Medium. Ooh, senior student. Okay. Great work. Some of the elder students are eager to challenge you. Will you give them a chance to prove their skill in battle? Yeah, sure. There's eight quests left. Let's roll. Roll the four. Seems like a popular number today. One, two, three. No. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go here. Barking up the wrong tree, a pack of wild dogs have been attacking people and stealing food in the area around the Alfling quarters. We used to feed them because we pitied them and they were sweet. Now those greedy mutts have shown their true nature. Teach them some manners. I believe I've done this quest before. One, two, three. Four, four five, six, seven, eight. I have no gear for you, you're a supporter, I'm not gonna give you a potion. Here we go. Oh dang, it was a one turn, I thought it was gonna be two. <clears throat> I 
Oh, there's a three there. Okay. health potions against dogs. Thank you. <clears throat> right, and for my troubles, I am getting a staff of quickness. <clears throat> Magic. Hope you are not forced into a pact. You know, I wouldn't be able to talk about it, even if it was true. <laughs> that guy looks like he uh, never got out of his My Chemical Romance phase. Alright. It's only maggots. How hard could it be? Oh dear god. Maggots are pretty strong in this world. It wasn't probably worth it to use so many potions. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe that's my problem. Maybe I overuse potions. The plate of sturdiness. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to attack. Th those guys, like, I, I don't get it. Oh, got me ten herbs. Look at me. Maybe it's time that I build the trophy all and get more crit. It's surprising I didn't build it before. ARG always loves the scripts. When there's a crit build, usually ARG does that. Alright, uh, two. I can unlock two different cities, but oh, I have that one and that one. Alright, so let's do a Rugier, Rugier, Rugier this time. Rugier is a highly fortified island city, cut off from the mainland by Torwind Stream. Nearby Whistler has never succeeded in bringing this free city under its control, despite numerous attempts in the past. Largely due to Rugier's extremely quick and agile ships that lay waste to any who threaten its independence presently. There is a tentative armistice between Whistler and Rugier. They now engage in business with each other, as well as with the city of West Haven in Taurus, forming a priceless triad of sea commerce. <coughs> Theorin? I 
suppose it's oh that should be pronounced so we're gonna unlock that as well i guess i i kept the hard ones to pronounce for last so once a bustling trading outpost theorin is now a safe haven for fugitives looking to avoid punishment for their crimes on the mainland it is a city of anarchy full of thieves smugglers and other shady figures who live without any sort of official leadership or government the residents of Theorin do follow a strict underground hierarchy, as if the city is run by an organized crime syndicate. Recently, Theorin sold some very unusual artifacts to the mainland, inspiring quite a few rumors that they may have come from outside the barrier. If so, Theorin would be the only city in contact with these foreign cultures. If this is true, may Moyarl have mercy on our souls. All right. Like, I don't know what I can do about like the attacks. I wish I could tell who is in there. That's all I can do is like just do quests, right? And, like it says find the right moment to strike, but I don't know what to do, so we'll just wait until we figure it out. Oh, I'm actually doing a dungeon today. Oh, it's medium, so it might be hard. It's strange, when we started a big hunt for these wolves, they became much more aggressive and started attacking many of our villagers. We suspect that the wolves are led by an aggressive matriarch, a giant alpha female. She seems to be orchestrating the attacks against ourselves. If we could capture her, the attacks might stop. Unfortunately, she is believed to be in one of the denser parts of the Evergreen Forest. It is a little of maze in the forest. If you find her and bring us our head, you shall be greatly rewarded. Alright, so that's gonna be rough. was pretty powerful. It's a dungeon. I need, uh, I need for somebody to carry that kind of crap. Um, it's a short dungeon, so hopefully there's only one trap in there. And I have enough... There should be 11. I had 12. All the way over there. Four turns. Whoa. -hoo. 
Hey you, Nord Lindgren is famous for trading in the snow white pelts of all different kinds of bees that live in the Nord. Don't get me wrong, these pelts are rare even for us. Someone has reported a herd of deer, some of which have white pelts. Go get us the pelts and you will get your reward. Sounds easy. It does sound easy. Those guys are gone for a while. Alright, let's go ahead and do the dungeon. On the shore of a pile, we find a, a touch roofed hut inside a cloudy glass orb sits. The top of an arcanium stand within a circle of dried berries. We've never had much faith in crystal balls, but whoever built this place clearly did. I'm gonna touch it. Ooh, more damage. Alright, let's roll. Out. Eating fountain. Oh, shit. I don't need the healing, so I'm going to steal the gold. I guess, I guess I should have done the combat. Oh, I am brave enough to figure it out. A bunch of wolves. Oh dear god. Yeah, that's not good. That's horrible. Try later. Guys and gals, come on, people. I'm gonna lose some.
So I won, but I lost a couple. It's pretty hard to win without losing anybody. Like, you need to be finding rats for that to happen. Oh, <clears throat> did get me a perp, Tom. person <clears throat> a woman of very few words <clears throat> Currently occupied. Don't know what that means. It is confusing. Do I, is there even a city that I can unlock? Oh. I think I can unlock that one. It's really not evident. Haldash. Haldash is a settlement of Inbarn that is farther north than any other. The people carve their buildings out of the frozen rock and glacial ice, confident they will never melt in this frigid land. They dig tunnels that descend far beneath the frost mountains where they mine for rare materials like gold, endrim, and mithril. Dwarves believe that even farther north, beyond the bear's edge, lies the land of the giants. Thirty years ago, their legends proved true when a band of marauding mountain giants attacked Aldash. They would have been doomed to die if it weren't for the armies of Rivram, led by a young King Rufus who came to the rescue and defeated the murderous Behemoths. Am I even going to be able to see when there's quests over there? Like... Literally, it's so high up, and like there's that gray bar right here. I don't know. So I can finally send Rajo against this guy. How delusional! Send me your best fighter. I'll teach them a lesson. Oh, let's see what you've got. Oh, crap. I thought that he was free. He's not. Why is he not free? He was just in that battle that was just over. Fuck that noise. Alright folks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for today. Uh, I'm not sure we've made progress, like I can see where they are attacking everywhere, but I can't do nothing, so I don't know, you know, I don't know. Alright, so, yeah, uh, I, as usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in. Now, if you're catching this on YouTube later, you like what you saw, you know what to do. Until then, it is ARG out. See you folks later.